Who is talking? Aisha, the child wife of Muhammad. Uh, somebody, he's a Muslim, he is saying this to me. Let us put his answer. Why you don't call me Mr. Mahdi? Sound like you are a smart man. Why you don't call me? The reason Muhammad started seeking refuge from the prayer, uh, uh, from that prayer was because Jibreel told Muhammad that even Muslims and his wives would be put in trial. Hmm. Well, let us see if it's true. The story in front of me, my friend. The story in the front of me. A Jewish woman entered into me and said, the torment of the grave is because of you. But where? Because of what? Because of urine? Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Christian uh, Prince, I don't want to talk it. And then talk about it because I'm eating. So what if you are eating? Don't you drink camel urine in the side of it? I mean, isn't this your favorite drink? Beside the food? So what the problem? You drink it. Now it's disgusting. You're eating, not eating. You have to answer me. How in the world that Allah will punish us because of urine? Christian Prince, you are stupid. When the urine touches you, I like it a fit. Okay, what is the connection between urine touching my feet and Allah? Because you get dirty. And if you get dirty, Allah don't like you. But my friend, the urine is inside you anyway. Which means you are dirty anyway. Isn't it the urine coming from inside you? What is the difference if it's touching you outside or touching your own inside? All of you inside, Zakir, neck full of urine. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Zakir, open your mouth. Zakir, open your He will not open his mouth. See? I mean, look at this stupid thing. But isn't it the urine coming from inside you? So why Allah will torture you for having the urine touch your toe? You know, this is, the, this is what he learned from the Jews. He will torture you. It's not like saying, wash it, be clean. No, no, no. He will torture you. We're in the grave. We're in the grave. You are dead now and I will be tortured. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I am dead and I will be tortured. <laughs> and by the way, as long as you mentioned to me the story that the Muslims don't have pictures, isn't it the same story? It says that the three angels will come to you and they'll ask you first question, who's your God? You say, Allah. You are dead now in the grave. And then they will show you a picture of Prophet Muhammad. How are you Muslim? You say we don't have images. Even the angels of Allah, they come to you with images and they ask you, who is this guy? If you just say, if you say this is Zakir Naik, they will hit you with the hammer. If you say this Prophet Muhammad, you are safe. Let us continue. So a Jewish woman entered into the van, into me, and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. I said, Aisha, look, Aisha is smart. I said, you are lying. What, what, what? You are lying. Aisha, she might be young, yes, but she is not stupid. I mean, this is stupid. This is literally stupid. And she said to her, no, the Jewish one, she said, no, no, it's true, it's true, it's true. It's true. It's true, No, there's Uzair is not exist. We don't have such a name, my friend. Arab, Christian, Jewish, doesn't matter. There's no Uzair. Uh, Arab, Christian, uh, Uzair is not Israel. Same time, there's no person in the Jewish, all the Jewish books, including the the, the uh, 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 like the traditional books, which have nothing to do with the Bible, have such a name. Don't go there. So, is the rule we cut our skin and clothes because of it? The Messenger of Allah, he went out to pray, and our voice became loud. They are fighting. He said, "What is this?" So I told him, "What." She said, which means the Jewish woman, she said, look what Muhammad he said, right away because she's a Jewish, Muhammad had to agree. He said, she spoke the truth and look with me carefully. What Muhammad said, she spoke the truth. And Aisha, she continues saying, after that day, after 
that day. He never offered any prayer, but he said in the following prayer, Rabbi Jibreel wa Mika'il wa Israfil. Adding mean hair, you know, so, so he start, and by the way, he's adding names which is not in his book. He's copying from the Jews, and later he add them to his book. Mika'il wa Jibreel wa Israfil. Okay, what about them? Grant me refuge from the fire and from the torment of the grave. Muhammad never, before that day, he mentioned the torment of the grave. How we knew that? Aisha, she never heard it before. Who's Aisha? Aisha, she's a person who lived with Muhammad 24 hours, 24 hours a day. Muhammad never mentioned, I seek refuge from the torment of the grave. And this is why. She was fighting with the Jewish women because she never heard this before. And she told her, not only this is not true, she said, you are lying. I should never heard. The second Muhammad, he heard the Jew saying that, he occupied it, he took it, he put it for him. I think we have a Muslim trying to call it, let's see. <clears throat> Let me call him back. <coughs> yeah. So what you're calling? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us about the topic? You are a Muslim? All right. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yeah. First of all, first of all, you are more than welcome, and and first of all, you have a question for me. What about what you are saying? So you have a question right away for me. You don't have an answer. I have a question for you. Can you tell me what the no what the situation in the grave is in the Christian theology? You will be dead. Sorry. What the situation in the grave, guys? Is you will be dead. You will turn no, to you will I'm turn speaking in, about you, the Christian Yes, in the, in the Christians, in the Christian belief, we will be dead and we will be turned, we will return to be a sand, the same as we created from dust to dust. So this is what you will be, you will you, be dead. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Can you explain to me why uh, the Old Testament prophets hmm. are in Abraham's bosom, which is actually in uh, Shul? Can you explain that? Well, well, you are jumping from topic to topic now, what do you want? No, 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 that's actually uh, very uh, relevant because if we look at the Bible, mm. there is no mention regarding what's happening in the grave. So, uh, can you can you you know enlighten no, us? No, no. You see, you see. Okay, you just said there is no mention what will happen in the grave because simply nothing will happen in the grave because you are dead. Secondly, why you are trying to avoid the question? Did your no, prophet he learn no, that? No, Did your prophet? No, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'm, 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 I'm curious too. I'm curious too. I'm curious too because God he promised us resurrection. So you are going to be resurrected. So you are dead. So when you are when when you are dead, you, when you are dead, I'm explaining. When you are dead, you are dead. And then you you stay in your grave as as a body, which means you will be dust. And then resurrection will happen, which means the spirit and the body will be resurrected. This is what resurrection means, reuniting to unit the body okay, so, and the yeah, soul. Let me answer. What, 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 what happened? That happened, you wait. We wait until judgment day. Isn't it, isn't it your prophet? He says, I will be the first one to be res resurrected. So if you are dead, if you, are, you, are you in the grave? Are you in the grave? Are you dead or alive? I'm curious. I'm curious too. There's no mention what's happening. Yes, because, you, because nothing will happen, because nothing, you, because nothing will happen, because nothing will happen, because nothing will happen, because nothing will happen. How many times, how many times it will be? Why the Old Testament prophets are in Abraham's bosom, which is in Shul, and Shul hmm. is, uh, you know, the Hades. Can you, can you tell me about that? I don't understand what you are saying. I don't understand what you are saying. I don't understand what you are saying. Can you quote for me? Can you quote for me the verse you are talking about so we can see what we are talking about? What the verse you are talking about and what is saying? I'm speaking about Abraham's bosom. Doesn't matter. Can you tell me what you are quoting? If you want to say it, if you come to me, I show you a hadith, I show you a verse, I show you Quran, I, I show you from your books. If you want to have something for me, show it to me. If there's anywhere in the Bible speaking about the punishment of the grave. If you can show me that, you are my hero. Go ahead. 
I'm speaking about Abraham's bosom. Doesn't matter. This is a question. This you is a question. I'm speaking about no, no, Abraham's bosom. Abraham's bosom. Abraham bosom. Abraham bosom. My friend, don't don't fool yourself. I'm asking you a challenge. Can you find me Please, one I'm phrase, I'm one phrase in the Bible speaking about people will be tortured in the grave? Can you show me that? Let me find it. Hmm. Until you find it, why your prophet he never mentioned the grave prayer until the Jewish woman she came. Hello? Are you there? Oh, sorry, what did you just... Yeah, yeah, what did you say? Why your prophet never mentioned the torment of the grave until the Jewish woman she mentioned it. Uh, he's speaking about the hadith, right, which is on your screen, right? Yeah, it's Sahih hadith, isn't it? You see. Can you can you zoom out? Yeah, here we go. I will show you the whole hadith, no problem. Aisha, she said, a Jewish woman entered upon me and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. She said, Aisha, you're lying. What do you say? What happened? Let me, uh, can you, uh, can someone send a link of that specific hadith? My friend, what link? Or okay, I will post the link for you, no problem. I will post the link in the chat. But just be sure, please, mute YouTube. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like... Hassan. Okay, so it's not Sahih. Ah, it's, it's Hassan. Hassan. It's, okay, is it? Hassan means, okay, what Hassan uh, means? What has, trans, translate the word Hassan for me. Translate the word Hassan for me. Okay. Hassan means that it, it has an authentic uh, thing but it, uh, it is not, it's not very uh, uh, strong, you know? That, <laughs> Guys, that's, it's that's, authentic that's, thing, it's authentic it's thing, authentic. it's authentic thing. So is it authentic or not? It's not, it's not the strong authentic. So, that, that, that's what has So what does that mean? Are you saying this hadith is a fraud? No, I'm not saying that. So what, so why, why are you, you, why you, wait, so, wait, 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 you're the expert, right? Mm. So tell us, what does Maudu I mean? What does Daif mean? I don't care. All this, all, all this garbage is. So you don't care. No, no, I don't oh, care. No, I don't care. I don't care. You know, you, 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 care? you put it down. Yes, you put it down when you want. You put it up when you want. It is you who wrote it. It's you who translated. It's you who published it. And it says Hassan, and you are the no. one who said. Don't change the topic. You said it's Hassan. You said it's authentic. So now, so now it's authentic. Yes, your prophet is the one who said it. You know. Okay. Let me let me read. Okay. Jewish woman entered into me and said, hmm. the torment of the grave is because of urine. I said, you're lying. Hmm. She said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and clothes because of it. The messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, went out to pray and our voices became loud. He said, what is this? So I told him what she had said. He said, she spoke the truth. After that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, following the prayer, Rabbi Jibril ma, 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 uh, Mikail wa Israfil, Hmm. Aiding uh, in Harinar wa Adhabil Qabr, Lord of uh, uh, Jibril, Mikhail, hmm. and Israfil, grant me the refuge from the heat of the fire hmm. and the torment of the grave. Okay. Okay, so wh what's your problem? Wh what's what's the issue with the hadith? You, no. why, how, how come you did not answer? You know, I mean, how many times I repeat the question, why Muhammad never mentioned this until a Jewish woman she came to Aisha? Let me see. Uh, Okay, so you, you know that some things are uh, taken, you know, f from the people of the book, right? Mm. Like you take uh, things from the Old Testament, right? Okay, show me where that we can find the Old Testament. We go back to zero now. You see, Muhammad is a liar because if this is from the Old Testament, show it to me. Something make a liar. Okay, well, show it to me then. You see, a Jewish woman, she said that just because, because just because she said that Muhammad did not even know how to read the Old Testament. So where it says that in the Old Testament that there's an angel will come to you, my friend, where in the Old Testament it says there's a three angels will come to you and they will beat you with the hammer and they will ask you three questions. Who is your God? You say Allah. Who is your, who is, what is your religion? You say Islam. And then they will show you a picture of Muhammad and they will say, if you don't know him, he will, they will hit you with the, with the hammer. Each time you give the wrong answer, they will hit you with the hammer. Where Muhammad you get the story from? That is the Old Testament? Wow. 
why did he get the story from? Because he's a prophet of God. Uh -huh. the, but the prophet of God, as you see, you, the prophet of God, my friend, the prophet like, of God, the prophet... You're funny the, because you're the, saying, you get the three questions, that's true, no, but you will not speak, you, only your heart will speak. You know? My friend, example, my friend, uh, my friend, I'm asking yeah. you, the question is very simple. Muhammad never mentioned this until this Jewish woman, she came. He never prayed in such a prayer. He never prayed. You know what prayer means? Muhammad, he, oh, every day he prayed. And Aisha, she is witnessing. Aisha, she said, after that day. Make these, listen, huh? listen. Yeah. Make these claims. So the burden of proof is on you. So provide them and I will give you an answer. It's in the front of you. In the front of you, it says, after the Jewish woman, he starts it's saying already, that. Guys. Already. Give you my answer. I said some things were taken. Of course, yeah, no problem because of the Jews back then. So my question back to you is: You said he's a liar in this and that. So the burden of proof is upon you. Provide them and well, give you, are, you are saying to me, find something is not exist in my book. Uh, do you see how silly you are? It's like saying to me, did you see that? Did, did, did you see that dinosaur? You know, did you see that dinosaur? I say I never saw a dinosaur. It says you have to prove that you never saw a dinosaur. Listen, listen. Why Muhammad never, never pray? Why? You have to answer. You have to answer. Why Muhammad? He never mentioned this prayer as long as it's so important because after that day, every single prayer, Muhammad, he say, he mentioned the punishment of the grave. So how come it was not important, never mentioned it, never prayed before, until the Jewish woman she came? I don't get your question. What, what's your, can you be more specific? As long as he is praying every time now, after the Jewish woman she mentioned this story about punishment of the grave, Every time he pray, he say, I seek refuge from Allah, a truth made from the grave. Okay, how come he never mentioned this prayer? He wasn't afraid of the grave before? He never heard about it before? If he heard about it, if he knew about it, how come he never made this prayer before? The prayer of the grave? What? Yeah. What, what, kind of what, what are you speaking about? And I, I don't get your question. <laughs> Guys, he did not get my question. Muhammad, he started yeah, praying. The hadith says, the hadith says, after that, read with me carefully, after that, he never offered any prayer, but he said the following prayer. Okay, after that, so all those years Muhammad is a prophet. How come not a single time he offers such a prayer, seeking refuge from the punishment of the grave, but now every prayer he mentioned it? What happened? Are you there? Do you need to call a friend? Isn't it obvious Muhammad is a fraud? <laughs> that connection maybe. Are you there? It says reconnecting. He want me to prove something doesn't exist, you believe it? Are you there? Let me hang up on him and call him again. No, he hang up himself. Sir? 
I don't think he will answer. What do you think? Now you see, he has a connection, obviously, and he's, he's not going to answer. Very embarrassing. He's a prophet of God. He knew about it. He never mentioned it before. He never prayed before. Enter the Jewish woman, she came and she said that. That can't be true. A prophet of God or a fraud? Let me call him one more time. Uh, please wait for your turn. We have to finish with the. Okay. What happened? Let us call him again. He will not answer. Very embarrassing. He's online. That's why it's ringing. Okay, we have a Muslim because he's saying to me why you lie. Hello? <clears throat> yes, Mr. Muslim, how are you? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, I have uh, you. Why you lie about the uh, Prophet Muhammad? Wait, like which one? Which one? Which lie? Because uh, there's many lies. Like, uh, like this one. Which one? Like this about the punishment of the grave. Okay, you said I'm lying. How I'm lying? Prove me wrong. Go ahead. Yeah, because... Uh, you do not show the other narrations which say Jibril came to Muhammad after the Jewish woman came and Jibril said to Muhammad that even the Muslims and the wives of Muhammad will be put to trial in the grave. So Muhammad Guys, Jibril, listen, 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 no, listen, 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 Jibril, he came to Muhammad after the Jewish woman. The news came to the Jewish woman before Muhammad, he is the prophet. And oh, Jibreel, he came after the Jewish woman. Okay, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Everybody heard you saying that. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said, you just said. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Let me, let me finish. Okay, start from the beginning, please. This way. No, no. This way I, I want you to start from the beginning. Start from the beginning about I lie. Go ahead and repeat the same thing you say. This is why no Muslim scholar wants to debate you. You interrupt. You so what? Interrupt? You can interrupt me too. It's a crossfire debate, my friend. I'm not hanging out upon you. <laughs> Yeah. So what? Okay, wait, wait. Yeah. So what? So the full, the wait, wait. The 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 full story is mm. a Jewish woman came to Aisha and said mm. um, Aisha would be put to trial in the grave. So Aisha said uh, you're lying. So Muhammad entered, mm. and uh, the Jewish woman said uh, you will be put to trial in the grave. Mm. And Muhammad said to her, it is you who will be who will be put to trial in the grave, not us. So later, a few days later, mm -hmm. Jibril uh, came to Muhammad and said, even the wives and Aisha and Muslims will be put the child in a grave. He didn't know that, so he became scared. Mm -hmm. So uh, a couple of days later, at uh, Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, he ordered, uh, he went with the Muslims mm -hmm. uh, at a right, and he ordered all the Muslims to start to seek refuge from their prayer. Okay. That's it. I like he what you scared. said. I like what you said. Did you say a few days after Jibril mm -hmm. came to him? Yeah. Okay, guys, did he say, be my witness, few days after Jibreel came to him, but look at the hadith, what it's saying. The hadith says, immediately Muhammad said, this is true. No, but this is not for narration, there's other narrations. The, no, this is for narration, here we go, what do you want, you see that? The no, the... What? Oh my God, you... why you lie? What do you mean you lie? It says in front of you, the Aisha and the woman, they, oh. are, they are fighting in the yard. Muhammad, he came out, he said to her right away, this is true, this is not a few days after. He heard the voices. He said, "What's happening? Oh. Read it. Read it. Go ahead." 
No, 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 no. After the hadith, the hadith says uh, an, another hadith says Jibril came to Muhammad after. Uh, no, problem, came, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Wait, wait. But this is mean that Muhammad is a fraud because here he says he agreed with the Jewish woman right away. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you. Maybe, no, 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 maybe, maybe, you, maybe you can save wait. your prophet, you can save your prophet here, your, your friend, he no, said, no, no, wait, wait. this hadith is Hassan. No, is, that, is Hassan is good or maybe it's a fraud? I know, it's uh, Hassan means it's a fine hadith. It's, it's a, a fine hadith. hadith, so is it accepted, is it good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, as long as it's good, so what's the problem now? Because Muhammad said after Jibril came to him, uh, that he ordered the Muslims to start... Exactly, so the, which, one is, which one of them is true? Few days after oh. came, or right away, Muhammad he said the answer. This is true. Did he say right oh. away this is true, or a few days after? Both. How do you come both? How Muhammad he say um, if Jibril he came to him few days after this incident happened? How Muhammad he say right away this is true? How he confirm it? You just say that Jibril came to him few days after to tell him the story. Yes, because Jibril informed him before that about the punishment of the grave. Okay, guys, this is the question. If Jibril informed him before, so why you say a few days after Jibril came to him and told him the story about the punishment of the grave? Secondly, if Jibril came before, yes, because... okay, hold on. <laughs> as long as Jibril came before, why Muhammad never prayed this prayer before? Why he never prayed? Muhammad, huh? because Muhammad didn't know that even the Muslims would be put to trial in the grave. And he became terrified. My friend, but right away he starts saying, read, read carefully, read carefully, right away. <laughs> it's in front of you. I like your love, by the way. You are a joker. So the second you see the Muslim laughing this way, it means there's a lot of pain. It's okay. He's doing delivery. So did he say immediately? Actually, she said, after that day, that day, not a few days after, after that day, we never saw Muhammad praying except saying this. But in, a, in a, another hadith, it says after Jibril came to him, he said after the day he never offered. Give me the hadith. Give, give, me the, give me the. Give me the. Give me the hadith. Wait, I can't wait. Let, let me try find. Hmm. Copy the hadith in Arabic. Post a few words from it, not all of it, maybe because YouTube will not allow you. Post some of the few words in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. I'm gonna I'm go search hadith. I'm gonna call you back. Why? Okay. Okay. You can search it and keep talking to me. I don't want to lose you. you are, wait, 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 wait. You are priceless. You are a scholar, right? You are priceless. You are priceless. No, I'm no, not. Wait, wait. I'm not a scholar. You are a scholar. I'm right? not a scholar. How I can be a scholar? I have to be illiterate, who do not know how to write, how to read. I have to read the word Siraj no, as Suraj, Siraj, Siraj. You know, I have to skip the word moon as Mimi Hijab was reading the Quran. He corrupted the Quran. He took the word, the whole word moon, and he said, Siraj, 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 whatever. No, I am not a scholar. You are a scholar. No, but why Why do I need to show you hadith if you're a scholar? You know, but. Well, no, I, no, I know. I will learn from you. You are the one who mentioned the hadith. I want the hadith from you. <laughs> but you are a scholar. So what? Okay, wait, wait. Wait, uh, I'm gonna find Hadith. I'm gonna call you back. Oh, okay. No, you don't call me back. Now, 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 now. You can talk. Talk to me. Enter your you search. You use Google. Search. Prophet Google. Hello? Let us call the other one and tell this guy get ready. We have two fish. Until now both are smoked. <clears throat> He's hanging up. <clears throat> This. Oh, he's going now. Hello? 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 Yes, what's your name? So I know, I know to what to call you. I, uh, I called you earlier. Yeah, I know, I know. But what, what's, what's your name, my friend? So I can call you by your name, if you don't mind. My name is One. Your name is One? What does that mean? Your name is One, so your dad, he called you One? No, no, no. My name is One. Okay, but your name, your name. One, or is that too difficult for you? No, okay. What? what, what no, I cannot. I, I, it's it's very hard for me because because uh, I don't speak Arabic. So. But I'm I'm back. Okay. okay so what do you want to say to us? Uh, Go ahead. 
Yeah, so I found the evidence that actually uh, the rabbis hmm. also believe that there is a punishment in the grave. Thank you very so much. Guys, is the rabbi, guys, did you, did you hear it? The rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, the rabbis, again the rabbis, this is not from the, this is not from the Bible. Listen, no, 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 you want it true because this woman, Jewish woman, right, mm -hmm. uh -huh. was a Jew, right? Right. Or it was, it was she not a Jew? Yeah. Tell me. Uh -huh. She's she a, was Jew. a Jew, right? Okay. Yeah. So you want proof, right? Okay. I will um, read what I found, okay? I know what you find. This is not from the Old Testament, my friend. This is from the Talmud, which is... Thank you very much, the rabbi, the rabbi, the rabbi, the book of the devil, the Talmud. They believe that a spirit will be tortured. First of all, even, even, even they even they even they hold on, hold on. Let, let me tell you, let me tell you, before you read, let me tell you, let me tell you, before you read it, what it says. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me show you. Do you deny the church fathers? Listen, listen, no, none of the church fathers, they say that. Don't, stop lying, stop lying. Stop lying, stop lying, stop lying, stop lying. Now I'm asking you, I'm asking you, do you must approve the Do you must approve the Talmud? Do you must approve the Talmud? Or take it from the church fathers. So my question back to you is, do you take from the church fathers? Let us go with the Talmud first. Do you approve the Talmud? And then we'll go to the church fathers. Do you take from the church fathers? We will take, no problem. But I'm asking you now, do you accept the Talmud? No, no. You, you, you. Do, you accept, question, right? do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept the Talmud? Do you accept the Talmud? Yes or no? So you admitted that your prophet is stealing from the Talmud, the book of the devil. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he was taking, uh, you know, uh, learning from the Jewish woman. So why you are quoting for me? Why you are quoting for me? Why you are quoting for me? Actually, also the prophet. Listen, listen, listen. You know. So you agree with me? So Christians are so, not doing. You are literally. Uh, you know, denying or not taking from the Old Testament anymore. My question back to you is, do you take from the church fathers? Yes or no? Sure, we take. Go ahead. Show me. Not show me. Heretic, okay, show me, show me. No, show me, guys. He want to show you from the church father where it says that two angels will come to you in the grave and they will hit you with the hammer. Go ahead. He does not take go ahead. from the church fathers. Go ahead, go ahead, show me. Go ahead. Hello? Okay. Yeah, no problem. I'm back. Okay. Mm. Okay, the punishment of Qura. <clears throat> Once a Bedouin came to Rabbah bar, bar Hana and offered to show him where Qura and his followers What is this? What, 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 what Rabbah? What, 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 what are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? I'm reading part of the Talmud. Just a stupid idiot. He said the church father. The Talmud is the church father. You don't think the Talmud, the Talmud, the Talmud is the church father. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. So you are saying now that agreeing that your prophet is taken from the Talmud, correct? According to the hadith you provided. Yes. Tell me what's what can you take from the hadith? You, I'm asking scholar, you. Right? So, I'm, I'm taking from the hadith scholar. that Muhammad he learned that from the Jews. This is my point. Muhammad is a thief. He learned that from the Jews. But this is not approved, even in the, even, even in Judaism. Not every Jew agree with the Talmud. The Talmud is a book of rabbis. It's the same as you know. Right now, I can make a book. Anyone, anyone who is a rabbi, he write in it. So I'm asking you now. I'm, ask, I'm asking you. Is the Talmud? Is the Talmud is a book of God in Islam? Again, I'm rephrasing. You told me get get proof from uh, uh, you know Judaism, and but, here's proof. But you are proving no. You are proving my point. You are proving you are proving my point. My point was that Muhammad he stole that from the rabbis, from the Jews. He is a thief and he is a stupid because he stole something stupid from them. Crazy man. Like seriously, that's why. Listen, guys, the audience of this guy. That's why scholars do not want to debate this guy because he's very rude. And a big liar and a deceptive one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why I'm rude? 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 And why I'm deceiving? Is it you who called me? Is it you who called for me that the Talmud? Is it you who called the Talmud? Okay, I'm asking you. Do you, do Muhammad approve the Talmud? Listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. listen. You are a potato. You, you are going to hang up over there. Okay, then answer. Then, then answer. Yes. Then, then, then be a man. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic you call it which means that you're part of the polytheists yeah <laughs> don't you say that. that don't say that like, you do you approve the mood do muhammad approve the mood do muhammad approve the mood every jew 
Hamas creyó. Do Muhammad aprueba todo el mundo. Do Muhammad. Do Muhammad aprueba todo el mundo. Why you don't want to answer? Because no, he don't. So why he copy from the whole mundo? Catholic, you're a heretic. So imagine. Let us see who's a heretic. Let us see who's a heretic. Heretic is the one who don't follow the book of God. It is you who say. Listen, listen. The church fathers. <laughs> what church fathers? Those are Jews, you idiot. And they all, this is not even the book of God. Even the Jews don't consider it as a book of God, you donkey. So you are quoting for me a book, even if it's not approved. Do you almost have approved the Talmud? Say yes. Heretic polytheist. Be, be a man, be a man and say yes. Do you approve the Talmud? Because we can quote for you from the Talmud. Things, you, you, things, things will make Allah look like stupid. Do you agree? Do you agree with the Talmud? Yes or no? Do you approve the Talmud? So you're a prophet, you copy from the Talmud, a book, the, the book of the devil. It's everyone who is watching this stream to uh, study on your own because this guy thank is a big liar. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. What are, are you going to run away? Coward. The prophet was caught in the Talmud. Guys, isn't this what he said? Muhammad is copying the Jews. He got busted. This is why when the Jews said to him, this is how we do it, the rabbi Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. But Muhammad said, sit down, sit down, act differently. And this guy, he want to prove to us that I'm wrong. So what he did, he went to the book of the Jews, which is the, rab the rabbi books, not book of God. And those people, they believe that when a person is buried, then they, he will be tortured. The spirit, his spirit will be tortured, not his body, for seven days. This, this guy is an idiot. This is not the book of God. This is fiction stories. Many of the Jews don't believe in them. So how Muhammad he copy and you know he, he carry it, and where he get it from? Now we knew where he get it from. And this is why it says here a Jewish woman. She said, and the other friend of yours, he was a st a stupid. He said, this is the uh, Hassan. Hassan is not accepted. Well, I can show you the same hadith from Sahih Bukhari. The same exact hadith. But I was, you know, I prepared a surprise like for them for later. So they argued this is the Eve, did not accept. This is Sahih Bukhari. 1372, very Sahih. So what you did, you help us to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. Because Muhammad, he never said that prayer before. The other guy, he said, and he said, he want to find me the hadith. We're waiting for it. An angel came to him after a few days, what he said. So why Muhammad said right away this is true? After the Jewish woman, she said the story. And after that, he never prayed without seeing it. And he, the coward, he hung up because it's very embarrassment. Do you approve the, the Talmud? Do you Muslim approve the Talmud? Why, then why the Quran did not mention it? The Quran says, Allah, he gave Moses the Torah. What is the Talmud? Coward. You just to prove to us that Muhammad is not following the book of God. Following a book of fairy tale stories and fictions and evil. It's called Talmud. And why you hang up? Shame on you. Don't you want Allah to defend you? Uh, somebody saying he have evidence from the Old Testament. Okay, Ahmed. Let us see Ahmed. Yes, Mr. Ahmed, go ahead. My name's Duke Nukem. What? This is our call. My name's Duke Nukem. Okay, get lost. Who is a brave Muslim? He can explain to us how Muhammad is the biggest thief in history. He stole all the fairy tale stories of the Jews. He put it in the book and he considered that holy from God. And the proof is my witness. Here we go. A Muslim, he called us and he said he found the story in the Torah. But that, by the way, not the same story. And, and, and the, sorry, in the Talmud. The Talmud doesn't say that. Muhammad, he added more spice. As an example here, in different hadith, Muhammad, he said, there's two angels will come to you, which I find very hilarious. Actually, I wish I can make a cartoon about it. Here we go. 
So when a person he die, the angel of death will come. Guys, can you read the text? Actually, I challenge any Muslim to read this hadith for me and to tell me how in the world this became part of Islam. And how in the world do Muslims believe in such a garbage? That you are dead, and now an angel of death will come to you. Look at this. Then the angel of death comes and sit on his head and says, Good soul, come out for forgiveness and accept, it, accept from God. It then comes as a drop of a flows from the water skin and he sighs it. Oh, the soul became water. Ooh. You will be esteemed, my friend. Allah will esteem you and then your soul will become a water and then he does so. So he don't leave in this hand and in, for an instant, okay? And then let us see where it come to him, the angels to question him. Now, hold on. Because this is the hilarious part of the story. Let me be sure that this is the, the exact hadith I'm looking for. Ah, here we go. Guys, read with me. If any one of you, please, know how to make cartoon, do me a favor and make a cartoon. I will post the hadith for you. Look at this. The angels will come to him. Two angels, you are, now you are, you are dead. Your soul will be restored to you in the grave. But you are dead. Two angels will come to him and make him sit. Eh? I will say it. They will sit, uh, they will say to him, Who is your Lord? He will reply, Alas, Alas. Allah name became Alas? What? The Muslims, what, what, what is that? Alas, alas. I do not know. Like, what? He don't know. And they would ask him the second question. What is your religion? He replies, alas, alas. I do not know. They ask, who is this man? Who was sent among you? He will reply, which means Muhammad, they will show him a picture of Muhammad. He will say, Alas, alas, I do not know. Then one carries from heaven and he has lied, cries from heaven and he, he has lied. The voice from coming from heaven, that's Allah. He has lied. Okay. So spread out carpet from hell for him and open the gate. I mean, how the guy did lie? He said, I don't know, you idiot. How he did lie? <laughs> Guys, does anyone here have a, have a brain? The guy, you ask him three questions. He said, I don't know. An atheist, he don't believe in God. He don't know God. So how he did lie? He never saw Muhammad, how he did lie. What is the name of your God? He doesn't he don't know what the name of his God because he don't worship God. What, what, how he, okay. And then open the gate for him into hell. And some of its heat and hot air come to him in the grave. In the grave. And made marrow for him so that his ribs are pressed together ah this is why muhammad he stepped with fatima bin to asad the, the mother of ali and she was totally naked and the excuse is not because she is so beautiful and he is perverted man but because he want to make the pressure of the grave less on her huh so if muhammad sleep with the women the grave will not press her she became a believer now after death <laughs> and the man with an ugly face ugly garment and all and offensive odor come to him if, if, if. offensive odor he ate garlic let us see we have somebody's calling 